Hello YouTubers and all that subscribe to my uh, Autism Awareness Channel. Happy, uh, happy World Autism Awareness Month. <clears throat> Hope you got a good look at that picture. I'll try to piece it into the clips at the end of the movie. Are you touch sensitive? This is about me having an EEG. The picture of me is me wearing a tight-fitting skull cap. The red things on the skull cap are injected with gel and then wires called leads are connected to them. Before the skull cap can go on though, I must have my forehead wiped with a gritty cleanser that will allow for the leads to get a cleaner picture of my brain activity. The skull cap has two straps that my mom fastens to my chest. It is now time for my EEG. Unlike EEGs that map out images of the brain, this one will be recording my brain waves. The objective is to find out if there is any disturbance in my brain waves, and if there is enough to warrant an intervention via neurobiofeedback. If you are touch sensitive, I do not see how you could have this test done. I am not touch sensitive, but I found when the gel was being injected into the little red things on the cap, it felt like my scalp was getting the injection. I even asked if they were giving me a shot in my scalp. They assured me I was not getting an injection in my scalp. I went to a neurobiofeedback specialist in Des Plaines, Illinois, certified by the BCIA website. This was a blessing since they were the only ones who accepted Medicare and Medicaid. There is a copay, but they will work with both me and my mom on adjusting the payment so I can get the optimum treatment. It is not very often that I hear the word yes when seeking help. I have lived in the world of no and condemnation for so long that it really hasn't set in yet. The first test is hard as I have to concentrate on keeping my eyes closed. Ten whole minutes while the machine records my brain waves as a very visual person, millions of images pop into my head, including the face of the doctor, the special place I have created as directed in my relaxation CD. I force myself to go there, but my eyes flutter as I can hear laughter in the hall. I hear the doctor say, I flutter. There are two students present. I assume he is teaching them. The, image, the images of their faces pop into my head. I worry that my mom cannot read her magazine article as she is in the same room with me and she must be bored. I find my way back to my healing place. More eye flutter. Finally, part one is over. I am told I did great and the lights come on. Test two consists of me keeping my eyes open with my head facing forward, but my eyes must stay focused on my feet. Since my focus is not very good, this takes real concentration. My mind is flooded with the same random imagery and my eyes drift up to look at the computer. I can see my brain at work. I suddenly remember to reposition my head as it is now looking up past the computer as I am losing focus yet again 
and get back to my feet with my head straight ahead. Fortunately, this task lasts only five minutes. The doctor is very familiar with people of all ages with autism, spec autism spectrum disorder, and says my brainwave activity is hyperactive and irritable. He says it is typical of what they see in ASD individuals. There is more than one biofeedback technique to use. In two weeks, we will get a call for my first appointment. By then, this doctor will know the best technique to use. I am withholding his name for privacy, but he graciously allowed my mom to take the picture that I showed at the beginning of this video. I will keep you posted and will be making YouTube videos, more YouTube videos, as I go through the neurobiofeedback process. Have you had experience with biofeedback or neurobiofeedback? Let me hear about it. By the way, 12 hours prior to an EEG, you must not have anything in your diet containing sugar or it will throw off the test results. So no chocolate, no juices, no, no sugary candy. You can't have any of that stuff. No desserts. Eat a protein, eat a breakfast rich in protein. Uh, I had eggs. I know some people on the spectrum cannot have any dairy, but beans, they're rich in protein, any kind of beans. Um, I had eggs. I drank Lipton green tea, hot Lipton green tea. Lastly, if you are getting an EEG of any kind, whether it's general or a neuro EEG, any EEG at all, Go with a licensed BCIA specialist. I mean, there are quacks out there that will try to take your money. Go to the BCIA website. For this type of test, the type of test that I have, go with a neurobiofeedback specialist. I'll show you the picture again. And I'll, like I said, I will also try to put it in the, the movie when I put it on my computer. It's me strapped in there with the um, skull cap on.